my old man used to take off his wedding ring and sort of flick it into a spin. I remember being scared to blink, like, what if he loses it? Would he lose mom? Would he lose me? So that's our cold open. Just a ring twirling over black. Will it stand or fall? And then, as Starfather, I speak. Once, Starfather stood alone before the circle. Within it, he placed everything. First breath, final gasp, love, loathing, you. By his will, circle became ring. By his hand, earth parted from sky. But even he could not foresee the coming of Ava Nadir. Okay, I'm trying to record here, and you're making that face again. The player can skip this, right? Oh, yes. The story is only my life's work, but by all means, skip to the last page. Shall I leave it blank so you have somewhere to doodle? Ish, you were married, right? You and your wife ever dress up? You know, role play. Maze. Thought so. And in that little scene, did you all find yourselves in burning need of a narrator? No. The meaning lives and dies in the act. Someone's never been in love. It's just a game. Shut up and let them play. Ah, uh, people, just use this take for now. I'll redo it tomorrow. Uh, we end on Through the Ring and fade up as the hero awakens. please. So, who are you? A new playtester? Well, let me save you some time. Today, I push the buttons. Ish, we are not changing this part again. Twenty years, Maze. Twenty years I've wasted writing about the almighty player. But who is the player anyway? They're like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Genocide. They demand a world full of deep, compelling characters, yet at any time, they reserve the right to turn said people into piles of gently glowing ash. Well, what possible story could survive these conditions? It's a murder mystery now? Hmm, everyone's dead. Who could do such a thing? Oh yeah, me. Look! Look at our hero. A lonely mute who can't even lower their killing hand. Matricide is just how they say hi. Your story needs mom to live, so I have to cut all weapons out of the game? Negative. Fire me. Never. Sorry, bro. Long story. No choice. All right, what was next? If you are a playtester, you can scratch combat off your list of hero features to test. But you can't wait to brag about your new job, walking and dying. May, shall we continue? We don't have any animations yet, but I can make two. Hero, the demoness, Ava Nadir, has stolen my ring. She alone now commands life and death. Uh, something, something. Ish. The company is broke. The last kickbacker campaign raised less money than that joke fund demanding to have you caned by the state. That was you trying to get fired. Even now, I struggle to hold the sky aloft. Never proven. 
Point is, we can't raise a penny more without a live gameplay demo. Yes, I'm adding the demo script as we speak. Wit must be your sword, and virtue your shield. Now go, hero. Take back the circle. No, that song is better for a boss fight. What else do we have? Mysterious, but this is the ending. Sadder, maybe. And then, eight to twelve hours later, rah, I am of an adir. Then we release the hellhounds. Oh, wait, but we just cut combat, so, um... We? Oh, no. I'm deleting the end game bridge so the team knows we're blocked by your decision. I want to ship this thing. That's the contract I signed. You stole ten years of my life. We don't own you. Just the rights to your celebrity name and face. And if you quit, I use it like so. My real name is Maze Evelyn. Once I was a hotshot pro gamer, but now I teach yoga. I'm also legally married to a crystal formation. You're holding my brand hostage? Okay-ish. Okay. I'll stay on until the demo, but wait till I tell you my new idea for the end game. Threats don't sink in anymore, Maze. Try reading some of my fan mail. Now I need to review the final cinematic. Alone. Thank you. Yeah, I designed that fight to be hard. Not unwinnable, but with no weapons, it might as well be a, ugh, cutscene. Thanks, Fish. But there's a bug I haven't fixed. Your body was erased, but it hangs around, taking up memory. You can still move if you want to finish testing.
need to rewrite this too. Something like, Even weaponless, the champion defeated Nadir, for they had selflessly offered up their firstborn son to Starfather. To become a new god. I like it. Ah, hello. Uh, Coda, right? Mesa's community intern. Why are you here? Love, sir. Your work is the great love of my life. Uh, Coda? Don't panic. I won't ask you to sign any body parts. But I have literally grown up waiting for the sequel, and I will help finish it. Did you rehearse this? Many times, but hear me out. It might interest you to know that you make video games for a living. That should be an act of love. But after 20 years, well, love is not some mystic, inexhaustible force. It's a fuel. Projects like this run on it. And sir, with respect, your tank is dry. You think I sound young, but purpose trumps experience and you know it. This upcoming demo, I won't sleep until it's perfect. The magic circle has come too far to run empty now. It will reach everyone. And if necessary, sir, I'll burn for it. Coda, ignore whatever Maze told you. Now you're hired. Let me guess. You're thinking, that's it? Did I miss the punchline? And you're right, boss. This world is a joke. And I need you to finish it. of this world don't know you boss but they're scared of what you might do they have to treat you like some reptile with a credit card who can't stay awake without watching something die but we both know you can quit this world at any time I can't I'm trapped here and I need your help hope that's enough Welcome back. By now, you can see that the gods will never finish this world, boss. You know, they can't even decide on the color of the sky. To fix it, we gotta start by breaking you. Think romantic. When the gods screw up in the act of creation, that life ends up in the cracks. This is one such crack. made the world everything looked like that just a big circle of nothing the trick is to stare into it and see anything else now when you make your own circle it's like ripping a black hole in there trap something inside and it ain't never the same again Good. 
Now, if you see something that looks kind of ghostified, it means the gods unmade it. It takes life to bring it back. Gods would tell you exactly what to do next. Not me. I want you burning with righteous doubt. Call BS on everything. Even me. Just the violin. The gods are just stuck on what is and what ain't. But there's always a place between. And if you got the will, you can live there. When they erase something, it hangs around as a ghost in case they realize they screwed up and want it back. Usually a ghost can't move around. But you, you're that something between. That's what you look like, boss. The gods' plan was there'd be more than one of you heroes. But they canned that idea again. So now this thing is kind of stillborn. Maybe crack it open? See what happens? Okay, intern. Is trusts you. Your new job is to convince him that you should build our big gameplay demo. First, convince me. I'm nervous. Your work is sort of the great love of my life. Uh, but speaking of Starfather, see this rando down here? Pretend this is Ish. Do I score any points with you if I just... Hey! No! Zero points. First up, that was a live playtester. You just changed the world for everyone. <laughs> Say that again. Uh, and second, that love crap? Clumsy. Button up your blouse. I don't need to see your soul, okay? That tester heard you. Hold up. This... this bridge was cut. And this zone isn't even ready for playtest. Who or what was that? I need intel. Uh, same time tomorrow? See, boss? With them around, fixing this world ain't an option. I call them sky bastards. But they ain't got the know-how to close the cracks. So now your life is gonna flow right back in there. And then... Payback. Now, the god's biggest weakness is the past. If we dig up something shameful enough, they'll crowd around it, pointing fingers, guaranteed. Then we jump out and ghost the Sky Bastard. Maybe even get inside it. And then... Well, the gods claim that they hold up the sky. But I say, knock it down. 
Don't you want to see what's behind it? way inside that monster's head and like all the gods ideas he's only half a joke all punchline no setup think you can finish it you can't use a creature's powers yourself but you can stitch them on to anything else mix and match body parts to get the job done yeah. Pulling off his legs will work as long as you don't go near him. Yanking out his teeth, huh? Well, congrats. Now you're equally impotent. That'll work. Now he knows that hunting you is a sucker's game. the circle, rewrite the rules it lives by. Anything a creature can do, you can yank that part out and stitch it into one of your pets. supposed to be here yet boss that's a damn good sign Right now, you got outside eyes. Nothing here seems real. That's good. See, the gods of this place mean to kill that disbelief. I aim to keep it alive. Mouth to filthy mouth. See, I watch the gods. I collect their voices as evidence. But they ain't free, so I have to spread them out hidden in random objects like this. Sorry about that. Coda? Do you think I'm too old to use a search engine? I was too quick to trust you. Greetings, streamers. After this latest delay, all I can say is Ishgilder is no longer the star father I once worshipped. Wait, wait! That is the passion of a fan! Maybe THE fan! In my family, it's a toss-up who has the more anticipated sequel. You or Jesus! Coda, it's just a game. Not to me. Ah, correct answer. Correct. Now sit here, read through the entire script, and then render unto me some piercing insights. Or you can start another stream with this. Greetings, streamers! Just got fired by a has-been god!
Uh, ladies, this is not the demo area. The intern is, uh, uh, practicing. I was reminding her that any color scheme must be approved by you. Coda can use any color she wants. In fact, Coda, come with me. Bring your opinions. I'm honored, my lord. <laughs> okay, I like that, but maybe don't ever do it. Now, you might wonder why you're doing all the dirty jobs. Part of the reason is I'm in a jail of sorts and had to learn to work this world in less direct ways. But mainly it's because I'm lazy. Feels good, you know, admitting it. I guess you were supposed to live out a fairy tale born to end some war when your sword got big enough. But the gods would have had to agree on all your powers, so you get none. But look around. Every creature here was abandoned by the gods. Let them be your fists, your fangs. Maze, can we talk about the motion cameras? These headsets. Um, given what I'm, uh, what you're asking me to accomplish, it's risky to speak freely and just some mics. Yeah, you learn to unsee them. The whole office is wired up. Everything you do or say here is considered content that we own. In case it's genius. It is. So, that's why you have to get fired. Contractually, the company seeds control of your likeness, your voice. But if I just quit before we ship, haha, ha, they keep the rights. Anyway, don't sweat the mics. At TMC, assume the spectrum runs from total indifference to total incompetence. Nobody actually checks the recordings. And my plan gets me fired before they come into play. just stripped him for parts. No loves, no hates, no legs, and no teeth. What now? Okay, boss, now... I... had something important for this area. Uh, yeah... I forgot what I was gonna say. Mace, can you watch over my shoulder as I set up my first creature? I want this howler to track the juggle by scent, flank it, and then pounce. Just set the howler to hate the hero. No! Uh, I mean, some of them should if they get hungry, but global kill on sight? Lacks a certain ecological truth. Trust me. You set two creatures to fight, it's just Muppet sex, man. All impact, no joy. Looks terrible. But if the hero gets attacked directly, they've got no time to see the stupid. Uh, what about downtime? Can I at least make them sleep? Or pee? Just make them patrol in a loop. You want truth, Grasshopper? Watch what Ish actually does between meetings. You walk in a big enough circle, everyone you meet thinks you've got somewhere to be.
Ooh, yeah. That stupid cinematic is glitched again. You're stuck behind widescreen bars until you hard quit. Tell you what, though. As a gesture of good faith, I'll just break you out of story jail. There. Now imagine being stuck in that cutscene for ten actual years. That's my light fear. When my game plays too rough for his story bible, Ish tears the controls right out of my hands. But I think you can help me get fired. I'm guessing you hacked in. Good. This game is broken, right? So exploit it. Abuse it. Make it chase you on a leash. I'll be watching. This is my world. Told you I was old. In my day, the gods were cocky. Figured they could handle more than one hero. See that elevator door? It won't open for just you. I can help you trick it, though, maybe. Find me in hibernetics. God's ever finished my story. I was supposed to wake up here, but the hibernation pod is sealed. I can't open it from inside. Think you can spring me? If it's alive in this world, everything it does is a word of God. Fly or fall, fight or fuck, they burned that word into its head and said, go. You want to take on the Sky Bastard? You gotta trap their creations. Tear the powers out of them. And stitch them back together. Your way. Going on 20 years I've been stuck in here, waiting for the gods. When I got bored, I reached out into the system to learn the ropes. And to look for someone like you. 
This arm implant was meant for my world, but it should help you boss your pets around. Find a way to take my arms with you. I'll come along for the ride. talk your ear off from inside your head. Plus, your new set of arms should help you con that scanner at the elevator. It wants a second hero, but my guess is anyone will do. to make that scanner look for something specific. start over with the magic frickin' kingdom up there. Now I know. They ain't never gonna finish. It's a big loop. And you and me? We were born to break it. We've all aged 10 years hitting beta. We're down to minor fixes. So as project director, the most valuable thing I can do now is to record, you guessed it, creator commentary. See, if creation is a language, you want to be the slang. Take what the gods made and give it a filthy new truth. So the original text adventure only briefly touched on the distant future at the end. Back then I just wrote whatever I wanted you to imagine, and were shocked when you paid me so well. So I may have surprised you to begin on a space station. And I recognize that compared to the original, this time your hero was a little more anti. Anyway, for all his faults, I hope the pro found a way under your skin.
Coda, you are not capturing video of this. This is not the plan. The fans deserve to see the truth. Someone brought the old sci-fi version back, and now we know. It was finished, and you both canceled it. Ish cut multiplayer. I didn't want my name on it. Plus, Coda, that was years ago. Focus on the demo. You sold Ish on giving me a sword to satisfy action fans. Now make his avatar mortal. I kill Starfather, the crowd laughs at Ish, and at last, he fires me. No. Maze Evelyn, you rose from the fan community, but you have forgotten us. And before we fire you, you will atone. Just check your mail. What effective immediately all likeness rights? Ish signed my brand over to you? Never even asked why. We are your only way out now. After this is done, we have a new demo plan for you. Till then, stay in your room and think about what you've done. We still love you, we just expected more. You brought back my world and drew the bastard in, boss. But it's using cheats. So those old whirly birds up there will act like it's bodyguards. Now you need a plan to deal with all three. I know for sure you ain't got the parts you need yet. Could take a while. Go find them. One, two, three. Easy, easy. Hold on. Go take those notes. Script. Thoughts? It's a little... safe. In Act 3, when Starfather returns from the dead, it feels cheap because nothing has changed. Respectfully, we've already solved this in the benefit. Oh, that's a porn thing, isn't it? And I, I... I don't go into that kind of... Starfather should come back as a woman. For he hath known the shape of man and woman both. Your words. This is... Surreal. You people know my world better than I do. And if you run into a story problem, I can start a forum argument about it. They won't even know they're working for you. Stand ahead. <laughs> Tell me more about your dark art, my child.
was. I wanted to be one of them. Gods. Always this urge to show them where they went wrong. Act of love. But that's the punch, right? If they admit that all this is their fault, they can't call themselves gods now, can they? Yeah, okay, um, let's try it again. Attack was off, a few other things.
Every world's got an in crowd and an odd man out. Like Starfather and his entourage, whispering in a tight little circle. And me standing at remove and shouting, You ain't so hot! From here I can see all your asses! And scheming to make it all fall apart. But if the oddball wins, hell, they become the new normal. No thanks. If there has to be a new boss, I choose you. I'm alone in a conference room. I scheduled a meeting with myself in search of quiet. What is it? A Mr. Byron Rafe called? You're a loan officer? Yes. He says you've taken out some, quote, Faustian personal loans to make payroll. And unless this project hits big, which it will, you end up slightly homeless. So please stop offering me a salary. Coda, I find the right people. Lock them in a room. The only word for what emerges is a miracle. Or we kill each other. Either way, problem solved.
Obviously, we owe an immense debt to the Clarkian first contact stories. I mean, you've played it by now, but I can't help pitching. An object nicknamed the Magic Circle appears in space, in a universe danger close to heat death, okay? But the brave souls who volunteer to suit up and pass through the circle come back dead, but wearing this beatific grin. Classic. I mean, if you are in Tingly right now, you have no soul. So, Darkest Hour stuff. Oh, we realized halfway through Dev that we couldn't support a world this dense. We had out-of-memory errors, terrain holes. I was despondent, certain we'd have to cancel. But then one morning, as if by actual magic, they were gone. And look, I'm a highly public atheist, but damned if I didn't feel like something took pity on me. So here's to you, whoever you are. I thought you recorded commentary when the game was, you know, done. I'm the newbie. I have work to do. It's a making of track for the special edition? Listeners, you're nerdy enough to have played our multiplayer text dungeon. So you were probably stabbed by the infamous Maze Evelyn here. Woo! Happy to be here, man. Shout out to the Frag Hags, my old clan. Yes, you ladies gatecrashed my cooperative story experiment and killed, well, everyone. Why it started selling better as a sort of murder circus. Well, I hired you to explain. Not everyone. Still eats at me that I never managed to gank you. I mean, Starfather. But your avatar had that immortality flag? Cheater. You're a god now, my dear. It's not cheating if you write the rules. Expect an actual magic because all this just a cheap trick and under that a cheaper one all the way down Maybe you see a problem and your solution don't seem clean enough. Like maybe the gods wanted you to do something else. Something perfect. Fuck that. Chasing perfect is what got them into this mess. If 
your way does the job, it's more right than they'll ever be. This question again? Can't we do another fan mail? Okay, okay. You people honestly want to know why I set this story in space? After two years of trying for a child with my now ex-wife, it turned out I was, in fact... <laughs> sterile! Yeah! Untreatable. Space is, in a word, universal. I could write about my empty nest, but in that same abyss, you'd see whatever you're afraid of. This sequel is my O2 low untethered spacewalk into, into nothing's orbit. It's every room. I remember, for one of these hangers, arguing on your behalf. No, he or she will want to see the sky. I guess the player has always been this unknowable, this radiant blank. And I know how it sounds, but I think I started to regard you as my children. I can only hope that somewhere out there, one of you felt the same.
So, why you? Why don't I play God? I think maybe... If you're gonna get into the creation racket, you can't overthink it. You just say, what if? And you change the world. After I quit trying to help the gods, I used what I knew to pull pranks on them. But now... I don't know. I see every punchline coming. I smirk at the idea of a joke. This ain't about pity. But a god... ought to take some joy in his work. Ishmael Gilder, personal notes. Speech in the event of bankruptcy, draft eight, subsection, uh, what is it? Uh, yes. Inside every man, woman, and child is this little voice which precedes consciousness, and it whispers, surely I deserve better than this. Why, I'm the hero, after all, aren't I? I should be the one in control. And as a species, I think humanity almost outgrew it. But then we stepped in, peddling our fever dreams, and said, no, you've been right all along. Push this button, and you'll never have to feel that way again. Cripes, how do I manage to be preachy and self-hating without so much as a segue? I better find some money. Should have known you brought all this back. So what do you actually want? Maybe steal someone's account, then edit the world like we do? Be my guest. Just do it to that three-faced intern, Coda. She's holding a gun to my personal brand, but if you hijack her machine and lock out her controls right as the demo starts, her plans will implode, and I'll give you her job. Think about it. So, now I'm hoping, praying, I guess, that my ideas outlive me. So, at the end, when you met Starfather inside the circle, that's what I was trying to convey. That I was reaching out to you. Passing on part of myself. God, but that's bullshit, isn't it? I mean, I don't know you at all. This is mutual. It's it's uh, it's fucking test tube. I'm sorry. 
Guys, I'm sorry, but if I keep recording at night, staring for another single second at this false world, I might just end it.
Dakota. I'm going home. I may have fallen asleep in the lounge. Are you still working on the demo? I need finished looking assets, and there's a whole deleted folder under colored sci-fi, but it's source locked by you, Maze. Would you mind restoring them? Dakota, that was the past. You're the future, okay? Speaking of, you know it's high time you came out to have dinner at Starfall. Your custom smart castle? Out in the woods? I mean, what? I'm taking hours and hours of your time on this demo. It's an overdue courtesy. I have always dreamt of seeing it. What shall I wear? You'll see. You may be wondering when I'm gonna let out an evil laugh and stab you in the back, twirling my mustache with my off hand. Well, don't panic, boss. But in a way, that already happened. Bringing you here was it. these on your walls, Maze? Are these screen grabs of gamer profile icons? Oh, is this a cute little voice recorder? of the damned. Do you ever think about going back to pro gaming? Nah, your reflexes peak at 23, 24. Another thing I've lost, chasing the ship date. But I tell you, after a day on this project, I do like to sit here, open an ice cold beer, and just hit play on all of them at once. In fact, that sounds really good right now. Get out and close the door. Listen. 
Stream streamers. Your plucky heroine is making some poor choices for the cause. I need Ish to trust me, so I agreed to this dinner at his castle. But A, he said he's picked an outfit for me, so I'm recording this in case. And yet B, there are definitely other guests. I know when he was married, Ish and his wife were Polly. So I am now walking through the woods, off the trail, hoping to not see an orgy before it sees me. Yes, those are cloaks. People are wearing cloaks. I'm going to have to outrun all of the murder sex in these shoes. But, uh, if so, that's some daunting music.
stories from my world always have two guys arguing over some robot. Like, but sir, is it self-aware? Like that it's set it above the rest. Me, I think it's a curse. It lets you zoom out, see more of the picture, realize how small you are. And at first you laugh, right? Finally you're in on the joke. But boy, if you keep zooming out, you sure as shit stop laughing. You'd give anything to turn it off. Mainly I just try to stay drunk. Holy balls! You took out the Hiver Queen with no weapons? Shows a fine killer instinct. You remind me of me. I feel compelled to reward you somehow, but minus any systems, all that's left is... story. Huh. Tell you what, I'll pass on to you the only story that a game should ever need. Back before time was a thing, there were these two cavemen. Or women, whatever. I'm just gonna pronoun it random. I call these two Frag and Brag. Newbies think I keep those names on my knuckles like a lifestyle, like I believe in both. Negative. No, sir. See, Frag and Brag had their eyes on the same prize, okay? Wanted some time in the naked cave with the same mates. Try to get bombed on the same fermented applesauce. Everything. Fighting over it all had nearly killed them both. They had to pick a winner without the loser dying. At that very moment, the first game was born. And with it, mother effing civilization. Okay. Now, in that contest, Frag came out on top, easily. She was faster, stronger, and smarter by a country mile. But Frag, now, he had an idea. He'd tell the tribe that he would have won. If that darn sun wasn't in his eyes. And people swallowed it. Pretty soon, Bragg realized he didn't have to compete at all. He could go on making up BS for the rest of his life. He told the first story. And ruined the first game with it. Took that sacred interplay of all human striving. And added an effing cheat code. And that, children is why the parable of Frag and Brag is the only story that games will ever need. We write it on our knuckles, that it may serve as a warning. Did none of you tell her about the masks? Her LARPers yawk like a frat. Coda, this is all a party for you. 
Ish is officially writing you into the story. Just as I did when she became Mother Nadir. Don't remind me. Woman, I thought you spoke nerd. You did concept art of me? This spectacular cosplay armor is mine? Of course. You are one of us now. Also, it comes with a pretty sweet crown. But I have to finish the demo. You have 70-something hours. That's a game dev year. Stick around. I heard there's supposed to be an orgy. Seeing all this again. Once you've doomed one entire world on a whim, the sin of it has passed. It might just become habit. That's who the gods are now. If today stings a little, they box it, bury it, and by tomorrow it never was. from HR. Uh, if I sound weird, it's because I'm on a laptop. Now, I'm joining these commentaries because as of recent events, um, Mr. Gilder and Ms. Evelyn need a third party present at all times. But to, to, be, to be candid with you, I'm excited. Video games seem like such fun. Now, who wants to go first? Fine. You nerds want some actual behind the scenes crap? Listeners, it's not what you're thinking. What? A sex thing? Please, I could shut that down in my sleep. Last week, the sad old man tried to adopt me based on some truly choice assumptions that I will not further dignify. You said your game clan was your real family. I, I didn't... He called in HR, by the way, not me. I just got out of my chair and Starfather ran like a little girl. Uh, uh Miss Evelyn, um... Look, the fault lies with Mr. Gilder, but we do need to talk about your casual misogyny. Cut. <sighs> Gentlemen, I know tensions are high on the team right now, but you have to look me in the eye and promise not to put that in the game. No, look me in the eye and swear.
Okay, sir. While we're waiting for Maze, there are a few demo features awaiting the word of God. Uh... One, are we actually allowing the hero to kill? Yes or no? I know you and Maze differ on this one. Um... Two's a biggie. Is this a solo adventure, or can other heroes crash the party? What? Okay, then. Lunch spots? Black Forest Ham on Artisan Rye. Extra ethical. Go to Louis by the waterfront, not the one in the city. Mayo, one side, scraped off. I just want the ghost of a flavor, okay? So originally, the tractor beam was meant to safely guide in the spacecraft of any player not currently controlling the pro, but then our design intern Maze here pointed out that you guys would have expected playable vehicles. I told him, it's about precedent. It, it makes no sense to hoof it through miles of space station when you can jump in a shuttle and just hop from airlock to airlock. And from a multiplayer POV, Think of the strategies that shake out of having one of your buddies in an armed spacecraft just outside. Yeah. So, as I'm sure you players know by now, I have to write it in that work the station for some And actually, uh, before we shift, we still need to meet on what to do with the tractor bot. I can schedule it. Super happy to keep advising you. Yeah, no, I'll call you about that. I'm sure I'll remember. seems to have devolved into uh, an impromptu design meeting. Hayes, it's the end of the game. The hero is floating through the circle, meeting Starfather, their creator. One of them is, say it with me, multiplayer. We also have a crouch animation. You're going to see it in screenshots, videos. Then cut the crouch feature. I will not allow my hero to teabag God. Even teabag in a spacesuit, it makes no sense. Skip it, Ish. You have a problem with player expression. What expression? It's urinal graffiti. No, multiplayer is out. My systems were designed like a dance. It doesn't work without a partner. If multiplayer is out, then I'm out too. Maze? Maze? Hello? Anyone? Guys, listen, as a mediator, I'm at a bit of a loss here. 
and I, I could get sued for saying this, but I think the two of you need to get very drunk together. Tonight. See all those posters of the rat pack on your office walls? And first I think, oh, it's just playing Frankie. He wants to show off his little Sammy. Show how progressive he is. Keep drinking. I don't get these games. I need your foreign influence. Okay, I'm making a point is, uh, you were 19. My body cannot process these extraordinary poisons at this speed. Anyway, it's not what I thought. The psycho contract you made me sign, the adoption, you're trying to buy that magic friendship in the poster, man. But ish, that BS didn't actually exist. Some tagalong was always falling out of favor, refusing to take a hint. Guys, it's Saxon! I found some vodka over here. I don't think I'm feeling it yet. But, but in my professional opinion, you two should totally get married. Want to scrap this thing and start over? We have the cash. The gods claim every world begins with a circle. Inside this line, whatever they say goes. By just plain existing here, you agree that white is good and black is bad auto friggin matic. So I ask myself, what happens when some wise ass draws his own circle inside theirs? Things get real meta. So buckle up. The fantasy like the original. Not my first choice. But 
Make me lead designer. And stop trying to make friends with me. For anyone. Done. You may now fire Saxon. His eyes are making me feel unsafe. I gotta admit, boss, I wouldn't have thought of that. Ghost a bastard now, while you still can. What? Hello? Did I just get killed? I'm in god mode! Monster shouldn't see me. She said out loud like a crazy woman. <sighs> what a golden IT guy. Oh, hey, an IT guy. A while? I could have you fu- Remember Koda, he works here, hourly. He's a fan like you. Yeah, thanks. How'd you make your colors do that? Also, what? back grand are you f <laughs> I don't have time to reboot here I'll just shut down and finish the demo at e4 I have to get to the expo hall before everyone anyway so okay e4 is happening and I am calm I'm hours late, and I'm still the first one here. Of course. Come on! No, I do not wish to calibrate the motion control camera! This is the backstage machine! Yes. I need the audio, so I can, uh, think aloud. This is our demo machine! This is our fastest box! Any day now! You made it. Well done. You are the most hardcore fans on the forums. I risk giving you early access keys because we need to work fast. You know the plan. Think of the man Starfather used to be. Make the demo good enough to fool him. Good. Now sign off and get in line. I need you in your seats. Koda! You did all this yourself? You might get us best of show. Uh, you know, in the script, I've been calling the Messiah baby a son. Now I'm thinking, daughter. <laughs> I'll see you at E4. Yep, just drive fast, okay? I have to start letting the crowd in over here. Where is my phone? Hello? Hey, yes. Connect me to security at the keynote auditorium, please. Yes, this is Coda Salim, Duke of Magic Circle. So... The God's Little Show is about making this world seem real, as long as you look but don't touch. But I know them. When they con that crowd out of yet more cash, they will get cold feet and start all over again. I'll be stuck here till the stars die. But... But... If we can monkey wrench their demo from the inside, Shame them in public. The crowd might demand a new boss. Hint, hint. <laughs> Even a joke deserves an ending, right? Their big pitch to the press and all of their fans is on in five. No specific guests are to receive the VIP seats I specified. Press can sit with everyone else. Thank you. Okay, one last test. Ish and Maze walk down the hall, blah, 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 applause. He asks Maze for her fake baby, and then I just hit this. And every fan in the crowd bears witness to the complete game that was stolen from them. Toggle, toggle, okay, ready. Hey, hey, no, what? That IT guy is an idiot. No, 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 why can't I move? Now it's moving on its own? Who's controlling this? Coda, having some drubs? The demo machine, it's, I, I'm not doing this. Yeah, dang, that's just 
crazy pants, Coda. D did you try turning on the motion control camera? No. You think it has to register the sword? Fine. Maze, what did you do? The controls will respond. Ready, Coda? Or should I call you Star Daughter? Ew, no, withdrawn. Oh, listen to them. E4, the great Hydra is upon us. Now, Coda, you'll be back here on that demo machine in case anything goes wrong, right? Coda, something I need to know? No. Maze? No. Remember, Maze, play nice out there or I make the speech. And Coda retains your brand rights. So, you wanted to show the world the old sci-fi look, then what? Pass out pitchforks? The stolen world was the ideal setting, but we can lose it if we must. You're the story, Maze. You say you stand for all players, but look, at least one has their own ideas, and now it's their turn. Maze, please. An imaginary friend. You were good once, near perfect. But we've run the theory craft on every possible state of play, okay? We are the fan community, and you gave us nothing but time. Now, we could abuse your brand, ruin your name, but we want to redeem you. Just play along, and when Ish asks for your fake baby to become the next Starfather, look him in the eye and put it to the sword. We've all heard him practicing this speech. He'll quit in disgust and pass on the magic circle to me, to us. Coda, come on. The game industry straight up knifes a baby for PR? You say you're a fan, but this will kill the game. Maybe all games. I never say this crap, but for real, do you even play? Honey, when this is over, I will teach you my game. But I don't think you would like it. It takes such a long time to play, and in the end, everyone wins. I know you're there, whoever you are. She doesn't see you as a threat. Thing is, if I get to that baby, and it's my only option, just don't make me take it. Looks like this demo starts with a hero. Not you, boss. A fake hero, walking through a castle to meet his royal baby. The intern wants her lady boss to murder that baby, live, on stage. But if the crowd sees that, I guarantee that this world gets shut down. And me with it. So, I'm gonna hide out in that baby's head to make sure it survives. You've come this far to help me. You'll find another way to bring the house down, right? Well, hello, E4 crowd. My old nemesis. After these shows, one of you always asks, what is the magic circle? It's an old idea. I draw a line around any given space, call it roundish, and inside it, we agree on new rules of behavior for the fun of it. The result we call a game. Turns out it's harder than it sounds. I know how long you've waited. Some of you have been fans since the text adventure. But everything ends, even Star Hawk. Oh, you like that? Take it easy on an old man's ego. But it's true. This demonstration is about legacy. I never had kids, you know. So I was convinced I couldn't give up the magic circle to anyone new. How could anyone understand it like I do? Until I met Coda Solis. Oh, you know her? Honestly, I wasn't expecting that. But she's the one who helped me finish this game. Thanks to her, your long wait is over. And we're about to prove it to you. And my assistant here, or should I say, the infamous Maze Evelyn. Uh, hi. I'm supposed to say that even though the latest kickbacker failed, on our page at Patronize. And now, huh, I get to shut up. Because everyone knows the hero doesn't. Let's get started, shall we? Into character. Hero, are you ready to make good our pact? 
Not but I was born, your child will pass beyond the stars and begin our training. Sure, let's get this over with. Ah, then let us make haste to your wife's chamber. Ah, uh, that, uh, didn't know we were showing your contact. But that's how you know that we're unscripted here, ladies and gents. Safety montage, please. You got him sweating, boss. So now he's stalling, hoping the intern will fix everything before they get to the baby. But he managed to laugh it off to the crowd, and now the fake hero will kill any more of those that she sees. And she's cheating, so they'll die in one hit. always feel we arrive here when this act is done the world of the circle will never be the same are you ready not really but this is me heroically walking Coda, you? Why kill my baby other than to hurt me? I told you, your work is the great love of my life. I love it so much, I'm going to save it from you. Okay, Coda, that's enough. Call security? They think this is all just another PR stunt. But please, allow me. Coda? Are you threatening me with a toy laser beam? This is not a toy. This is a limited edition, molded resin Securitron figurine with inbuilt laser sight. You gave it to me when I was six. Don't remember? Best day of my life, till now. You handed one to each of us after we waited in line for days to see the Magic Circle's first gameplay demo. You know, the one set in space, which no one ever got to play. Incidentally, many of those same people waited in line to be here today. As you said, the object I'm aiming at your heart is just a novelty collectible. But Ish, look. It's dark out there, in the crowd. How much are you willing to bet that all your fans are so harmless? Coda, the old man is scared of you now. Happy? Make your demands. This is an open letter from all of us. Lord Starfather, we will always love and remember you. We will take care to do your character justice. Ishmael Gilder, you failed us for 20 years. We have access to your sequel script, and right now, there exist five dozen superior works of fan fiction. We now do a better job of writing like classic you than you do. We want the magic circle made public domain. Let us finish the game and release it for free. We are your fans. For 20 years, we supported you. We believed in you, and we deserved better. Now get the fuck out of our way. I see. At last, the player has spoken. Very well. The second I step off this stage, the magic circle is yours. All of you. Maze, Coda, and you. Yes, you. 
whoever you are behind that screen, I know what you are now. You are control itself. You are that which plays us all. I can feel you there, hovering over the button to silence me forever. And why? Because we convinced you of your God-given right to do it. Well, what are you waiting for? Staying here means listening to an old man shout, Doom! And don't you need to get back to your story? Push it. I dare you. No? Well, then call this your moment of clarity. Because control is your opiate, my friend. And we got you hooked. Strung you out on the stuff for your entire waking lives. Maybe you think it matters what you play. No! Be it the gritty reboot of Cops and Robbers, or the pansexual mystery hour, it was we who offered it a guilt-free alternative to all the gray and fathomless contours of the real goddamn world. Oh, we tell ourselves we're letting you seek meaning on your terms via the sublime grammar of experience. For decades, we shouted games, goddammit. When the soul speaks, it is not stated, it is lived. But in truth, we just want an excuse to peddle a tame reality, a universe you can bring to heal. We tell you that, yes, you are the chosen one. Yes, you can achieve a perfect ratio of wins to losses. Yes, any problem of any scale can be solved with enough cash time energy. Any imbalance of power can be ushered into final equilibrium. And above all that, the world needs you to do it. You to shepherd us to that ideal and optimal and ultimate endgame, the win which justifies all you have lost to reach it. Even now, you don't see me. All you see is the latest time trial, the next puzzle challenge, the final boss. But it was I who tempted you to take control, and now you have. So I lost the right to be shocked when over 20 years I announced some trivial change to my life's work, and you sent death threats to my door. What right do I have to cry foul now? when you rise up as one to simply solve me. So what now? Should I say you win? Congratulations. When at last you push that goddamn button and seize control of my story, someone will sell you the next. The time we've stolen will never be recovered. That void in you, which was meant to contain your life on Earth, remains. And that's it. It's over. They've all filed out. It's just you, me, and the invisible wall. Well then, you're in charge now. Push the button. Fill in the blanks. What do I do next? Push the button. Tell us how it all ends. Push the button. Come on, this is euthanasia now. Just hit that goddamn button. You want me to beg? Fine. I beg you, don't make me stand here alone, floating in this loveless vacuum, wondering when the final tether will snap. Please. Please. Just push the damn button. Push the button! Push the button. So that's what a god's last breath sounds like. <laughs> SOB has some lungs on him. His kind have always been scared of you, boss. Couldn't accept that this world was never about him. Don't let him shake you. He's wanted to make that speech for years. 
Quitting was the only real decision he ever made. Hear this, Coda. Uh, how do I turn on the echo? Uh, there we are. Hear this, Coda, and your so-called fan community. As of now, the Magic Circle is open source. Anyone who wishes to contribute to its development may enter and do so. But before I go, I have a new game for you. The rules are easy to learn, for they are an exact mirror of reality. The electric bill strikes in less than one week from today. It pays for those servers, without which our tools just don't work. So, unless one of you generates a playable experience by then and sells that game for enough to pay that bill, it all goes dark, kids. The first person to ship a game wins and will retain creative approval on all future titles. See, there's always a sequel. You will, in effect, have my job. I would say have fun with that, but I think you've had quite enough. Coda, all yours. Let them in! He did it. He quit the world. I'm the closest thing he'll ever have to a kid, and he never knew I was a... What's that? Welcome. Welcome, friends, to the Magic Circle. Now, I know Starfather's conditions may seem daunting at first, but a short timeline was always part of our playbook on the forums. We have our own script, we have a focused feature set, and a massive team. Together, we can do this. I know the tools. Let me guide you to the full realization of our vision before we have to pay that bill. No! No, don't you see? We've already won! There's no contest! You don't have to compete! That's what he wants! Can't you see? Damn it, stop playing around! You heard him. At least some piece of this world has to get finished and sent out in order for me to escape. And these freaks wouldn't trust them to finish a sentence. Gotta be you. Get out of here. Find a safe place to build. I'm going back to where we met. Find me there. There's only one way out! Shut it all down! Well, with all that going on in the overworld, this is the only safe place left. So, you know I want out. But I also wanted you to build something of your own, which meant going elbow deep in the guts of the cosmos and figuring it all out for yourself without much help from me. And after seeing the handiwork of the old gods, can you blame me? The creation game needs new blood. Well, enough talk. Let's see what you got. Think of your world like a body, and you gotta pick what its bones look like. Each piece got its own purpose. Okay, I feel almost motivated now. Look at you, going above and beyond. Is this fun? Am, am I having fun? 
on paper, I should be the last one to enjoy myself here, but you know, this is almost a feeling I'm having. <laughs> New best friend. Fight hard and die for me before this gets weird. This almost makes me want to stick around. Almost. Okay, I'm getting sucked in. Starfather was right. I like control. Control for president! I'm having fun. Alert the media. Hey, I ain't seen that yet. Nice. If you kids are streaming this, I'm having more fun than you. I might share this with my friends. I should get some. I am no longer just pretending to care. Fake winning in a fake fight. Who knew? Good boy. You're my favorite. At least it's worth looking around. Okay. I'm gonna score your work like a real reviewer. Brace yourself. <clears throat> what are you? All this time, you know, I've been using the word God as shorthand for anyone who creates a world, but... You! When I die, heaven or hell, I hope you run the place. Ten out of ten. But, but those are just feeble earthly numbers. You, boss, are beyond mortal measure. Ship it! Uh, if, if that's okay with you. So, that's the score I'd give it. But it's more than good enough for Joe Public, boss. I'm ready to meet them all, if this is good enough for you. It's time. A little late to come clean, but I guess this is hello. I said I need to escape, but you probably know by now that my jail ain't made of bricks. Fact is, boss, I got a need for the new. Can't help it. You think it's just these gods who fell short? Nah. They're all adding bells and whistles to the same damn machine. So I wanted you to play God for a day. 
but not out of some great kindness of spirit. <laughs> it's because there's a zillion to one chance that maybe now fun ain't enough. Maybe now you want a world all your own, enough to carve it by hand. And maybe in your story, I won't see the end coming. Anyways, you got the fire now. Lead the way already. Oh, and boss, hope you got a plan B. <laughs> Greetings, streamers. As you know by now, uh, I am returning to my career as a Let's Player. I'm still maintaining the TMC forms, but the company chose not to retain my services in-house. Um, uh, so I'm just going to play through episode one and just brainstorm aloud. Maybe the new Starfather will start returning my calls. Writing fanfic in my head right now! Okay, this is therapeutic. Yeah! You know, I I'd have done it differently, but this is okay. This might be the sequel I wanted. Might. The Magic Circle. I'm actually playing it! I feel so... magical. Guys, do you feel magical? I get a friend? Um, somehow right now that seems timely. I'm still angry, I just can't feel it right now. Whee! This is fun. Everything I did must have been worth it. Ten out of 
ending your ish. Stab, stab. I'm having almost as much fun as you guys must be watching me. I'm, I'm falling in love again. I can't help it. Whoa, that composer finished something. Hidden stuff. I still love hidden stuff. Oh, wow, what's this? I'm, I'm not saying I'm excited, but... Are you reading this, guys? This changes everything! I was hoping for a me-related Easter egg, but still... Attending your maze! Slice! Jab! You are my second best friend. The whole internet, and then you. Music. Ah! I'm tearing up. And the new Starfather. Screw them too. On guard! I think we forgot to justify potions fictionally, but right now I don't care. Bet you guys haven't seen that. Subscribe for more exclusives. And this is for all of you who couldn't work together when I let you in! Die! Hey, secrets! Spoiler tags, everyone. <sighs> it's over already? Well, on behalf of all fandom, I guess I should score it, right guys? I mean, overall, there's lots to absorb. This is, in the final account, a sequel to the Magic Circle, am I right? For that alone, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. But I have to knock off at least 10 points for all the little details they got wrong. I mean, they don't even mention the Mushroom Wizard's royal origins. But, um, I could, uh, help with those nuances. I, I, I mean, if, if the new Starfather were willing to take me back, I'd be extremely confident that we could bring Episode 2 in line with fan expectations. Until then, if you're watching this, I'll be thinking about nothing but your work, leaving helpful little comments and winning by the phone. Remember, Starfather, you are the great love of my life.